What is happening, guys? Welcome back. All right, let's jump right into a mission. Last episode, we got done with some of the training stuff, so let's go into a new mission. Got a job for you, 621. You're joining an operation planned by Balaam HQ. Check the briefing. Heard the good news from Walter, did you? Good. Sit your ass down and listen. Balaam's moving in on the Gallia Dam complex, one of the Liberation Front's bases. The objective is to destroy their lifeline and make those sacks of shit beg for mercy. I'll be sending two good-for-nothing maggots from the Red Guns, Gun 4 Volta and Gun 5 Iguasu. Oh, you? nice. You're just gonna be tagging along on ass-wiping duty. Nice. I'm Got some friends. I'm the call sign Gun 13, a lucky little number that just became available. Gun 13, sound off! Good enough. Now go get ready! We're going on a field trip, kiddo! Alright, so we get a friend now. Or get a couple friends. Gun 13, huh? I'll stick with 621. Don't let the red guns teach you bad manners. <laughs> I like Walter. He's the same voice actor as Loxus from uh, Fairy Tale. One of my favorite voice actors for activating combat mode. Stuff. Where's the other ones at? Two generators to go. Keep moving, 621. Hope you're enjoying the field trip, kid. Don't wet your pants now. <sighs> Does this guy ever shut up? Gun five! No luck with a sewing club, I see. That attitude won't get you far on Rubicon. Hope you'll pilot better than you sew. <laughs> I don't know if I took damage from doing that or not, but... Okay, where's the last target at? Cooldown sucks, man. Just didn't have quite enough fuel to get up here. Or energy. Lucky call sign open for you. 
Mission complete. Rank, no rank. Oh, that's right. You always have to. So I found out too. If you you don't get a rank the first time you do a mission, once at once you repeat missions, that's when you can get ranks and you can farm for better ranks. So just a little thing that I figured out <laughs> randomly. One new message. Got lucky, Merc. You were the only warm body they could find. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. Destroy the weaponized mining sh mining ship. How big is this thing? These should be your first targets. <laughs> this concludes the briefing. Good luck. Hmm. Something tells me this thing's gonna be a gig gigantic mech. Well, we'll find out. Time for a little self-promotion, 621. Smash the Strider, and Archibus HQ will be sure to remember your name. Something tells me this thing is going to be really big. <laughs> Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust and make contact with the Strider. An unidentified AC. Must be one of the corporation's dogs. Activate the eye. Turn them away. Oh shit. Damn, what the hell hit me? Oh. That's what hit me. Ooh. Crap. Man. Heck, man. Oh, we almost made it to the Strider. Damn. I'm just gonna try to get to the Strider as fast as possible. Oh, 
I can get to the Strider first. Then I don't have to worry about that blue laser. They got a leg? Oh, okay. Did I get it? Oh, shit. Leg is down. How am I supposed to get on this thing? Confirmed. Strider leg compromised. It's going down. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And imagine if you built if you were the person who built this thing. <laughs> you were like You're like, yeah, I'm gonna build this thing with weak legs. I feel like the legs would be one of the most important things to you'd wanna build good. Since the legs would be like something that would be important. Okay, so, shit, so something shoot missiles at us, probably should get rid of that first. Or is that the generator up here? Ooh. Can't even get that high. Right, I gotta figure out how to get around here. Guessing like this. Where are these? Nope, that's not it. Target is over here somewhere. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Let's not get hit by that. Uh-oh. Well, that's convenient. Damn. Oh, we're gonna be hiding behind this box. Um, so the target's down there. Right, let's, uh... uh... That's just gonna ricochet. Right hand ammunition at 50%. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to beat this thing? <laughs> AP at 50%. Yeah, there's nothing to hang on to. Where the heck is the ground point to... Man, I wish I could hover higher, man. That's... And not fall so fast, too. Like, that'd be nice. Okay, so we made it to here. Now how am I supposed to defeat this thing from this angle? This just seems weird. Plus there's no health bar. 
Or maybe there is a health bar. Ah, okay, so that is how you do it. That is how you do it. All right. Got to get to the other side. Okay, so the next target one is up here, which is going to be pretty easy to get to. Okay, so there's two kids remaining. Target down there. Oh, it's like right below me. All right, we're gonna take this one out the same way we took the other ones out here. Where's this thing at? It says it's down. Defend the ship with your lives. Is it telling me? Hmm, is it underneath it? I don't have my rifle with me. That'd be nice to have right now. Oh no. get up there though again. Maybe over there? Ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Oh shit. That's not how you do it. That's not good. Back away.
Hope I just beat it because if not, I'm gonna be dead. Okay. Dude, I'm cutting all these missions damn close. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. The Strider's blowing itself up. We gotta get out of here. For something built to fail. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out of here. How far do I have to go? <laughs> did I do it? I did it. Oh, not bad. Not bad. That's fun. Damn, 270,000, 215,000 pay. Destroy the weaponized mining ship. That was a fun mission. You had to really think about that, like very strategic. It actually reminded me of near replica or near autonomy a little bit. Some of those missions in that you game. Must be the handler, I presume. For the independent mercenary Raven. Honored to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. I understand you want to join Operation Wall Climber. You do realize that disposing of some Liberation Front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog sitter. The answer is no. I hear you're deploying V1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Oh? Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. Very well, then. We're also deploying V4. Who's been equally brazen of late? Let's see how they both perform. One new message. On the Strider deserves commendation. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Archivist Group's mercenary liaison. V8 Pater, at your service. I think I'll enjoy doing business with you. He sounds like a nice guy. Emblem acquired, Archivist Group. Training exercises updated. New exercise that data added to training. Nice. Products updated. Parts shop. New parts are now available for... Per oh, so it does tell you when new parts are available. Sweet. Okay, that's good. I think I said last episode I wanted them to tell us when new parts were up there, and I was kind of disappointed they weren't, but that we just weren't unlocking any, apparently. So that's good. Okay, that's that's awesome. Let's go to... Uh, first off, let's see the parts shop. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Damn, I'll, I'll have to look at some of this stuff like just off recording because I'll, I want to look at stats and whatnot. Damn, we're already unlocking quite a bit of stuff here. We're over a million too, so we can definitely buy stuff. I'll probably do that off recording just because I feel like none of you guys want to watch that. So I get and I get it too. That's understandable. With a game like this, though, it's kind of, you know, sometimes this that's part of the game, though, you know, customizing the mech <laughs> and this is a let's play, so. You get what you watch. All right, uh, let's go to the training. Ooh, we got two new training ones to do. Intermediate support, assembling, and AC. One way to assemble AC is to install ranged weapons to both hands. This is known as the double trigger style among veteran pilots. Double trigger assemblies use machine guns or similar weapons can destroy enemies at a reliable pace and are suited for taking on multiple enemies at once. Can you fire both at the same time? Oh yeah, you can. Ooh.
<laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. The mobility of an AC is greatly influenced by its overall weight and the type of boosters installed. This AC is fitted with boosters that have short QB reload time spec, which allows it to outpace enemies with consecutive quick boost usage. Ah. Generators and basic specs. The generator installed in your AC greatly influences the rest of assembly. From the selection of usable parts to basic performance of the AC, this AC is equipped with a generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boost. Hold A to ascend and quick boost. Okay. Ooh. Damn, that's a very powerful weapon. Damn, I want to build a mech like this. This is fast. FCS and engagement distance. The FCS fire control system installed to an AC affects target tracking at close, medium, and long, at long range, and missile lock, lock on multi lock time. This AC is equipped with an FCS that is specialized for close range combat allowing it to reliably land attacks with its high high firepower weapons. Use left shoulder weapon. <laughs> Damn, that's fun. AC assembly and strategy, the weapons and selection of parts used to assemble the AC determine its ideal combat range and style. This AC is equipped for four ranged weapons to specialize in concentrated fire at medium range. Hold RTRT rapid fire both. Use right shoulder rub. Okay, it just uses everything basically. That cannon is awesome. Wish I had like a sword that I finished off. That's a fun AC, man. Definitely want to build something like that. Ooh, we got a new booster. Nice. FCS 006 Abot. Nice. Generator VP20S. Good stuff. I'm gonna definitely have to. Well, we're definitely gonna modify our mech. I just think I'm gonna do it off recording, and then I'll tell you guys what I did. Cause it's, I just I want to be able to read stuff and not have to feel like I'm boring you guys. <laughs> Reverse joint parts. Reverse joint le leg units excel at jumping and can also leverage their leg strength to improve quick boost. These leg units are also capable of high jumps that do not consume energy, making it easier to achieve aerial retreats in a shift aerial combat. A jump, L, and quick boost. Okay. Seems easy enough. Damn, this mech is, is kind of slow, but I guess it's made for jumping though, so I guess that makes sense. Area attacks. The left shoulder grenade cannon on its AC fires excessive explosive rounds that cause area damage upon impact. When using a weapon of this nature, you can exploit area damage to greatly affect firing at the ground from an aerial position. I see. A 
weapon type, but weapons fall into three categories depending on types of damage they inflict. Kinetic, explosive, and energy. The defensive performance of ACs and other craft varies of each of these damage types, determining their accessibility or resistance. RT use right hand weapon, LT use left hand. Okay. Energy weapons and overheating. Energy weapons produce heat when fired, and this can ultimately result in overheating. When overheated, the weapon will temporarily be disabled, but functionality will be regained once the weapon has been allowed to cool. Avoid overheating by monitoring your rate of fire. RT use, RT, hold RT for weapon attack. Ricochets. Ricocheting will occur when enemies have high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. To counter this, or counteract this, try attacking at a closer range, or switch to explosive weapons. I think my left arm is ex has an explosive weapon. Ooh, shit. I didn't really care for that mech. That mech was not my type of style. Laser handgun. Okay, so we now we got a laser handgun. Cool. Alright. So we got quite a bit of new stuff here. Laser handgun. So total rounds. Impact is very low. Attack power also pretty low, but higher than this apparently. Oh, that's going to surpass my load, though? Huh. Interesting. I would think uh, a machine gun would be a little heavier than a laser gun, but maybe not. I don't know. I really like having a sword on one weapon, on one on uh, my left arm. Like, I feel like a little bit of melee is nice to have. I, I like the, the, the ability to use, like, two guns at once. It's cool. But I feel like there just needs to be a finishing, like, wow. <laughs> I feel like that's where the sword comes in handy. False blade, so that we don't have anything else yet for left arm unit. So wait, if we... Could you put guns on your left hand? Oh wait, you could probably put guns on your left, but you have to remove, right? Like, why aren't my gun... Why aren't the guns showing up on the left arm unit? Like, I feel like they should be, right? Now? Hmm. I don't know. That's really weird that I can only use guns on my right hand, but... I don't know. I don't quite understand that to be honest, but whatever. Yeah, I feel like there should be a way to... add guns to my left if I wanted to. But all I see is the pulse blade. Huh. That's weird. I wonder why that is. 
Well, I don't know. I guess I'll figure that out for another time. Um, Orbiter Melander. Oh yeah, that was the one we got for pre-order in the game. Altitude stability, general output adjustment. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we'll cap it off there. Uh, let me see here. I think I... No, I didn't get an expansion. I did get... Better generator, though. EN recharge, supply recovery. That's the one I have equipped. That's just a normal... Pretty boring generator. Damn, this Okay. Weight output. Current load, that would be... EN output. Supply recovery. EN recharge. Supply recovery. I feel like that's good, right? EN capacity is down. Oh, it's so hard to figure this stuff out. Especially when you know nothing about this stuff, but... I got I to gotta figure this stuff out. But uh, we are at like 36 minutes, so I think we'll cap it off there. Uh, but stay tuned, guys. Much more coming soon.